right? Um, if it's an and problem, we should know it should it's a graph shading together, and if it's not, it's not shading, right? All right, so um, let's just kind of draw this out. So I have zero here, I'd have two here. That could be a solid dot shading that way, right? And then five is like out here, open dot shading this way. So does that seem to be an appropriate graph for and? Yes. Absolutely. So if we were to write this, it's going to be square bracket at two, rounded bracket at five. Yeah, the one to the left, the furthest to the left is... Negative six and negative one, whatever's for this left. Okay, got it. Question? No. No. Um, a mistake I know people will make with this. Does this and this mean the same thing? No. No, no it's incorrect. Wait, can you even okay. If you have this for an answer, you got it right. If you have this for an answer on a two-point problem, you would miss one. Okay? Whatever is to the furthest to the left starts comes first. Well, I mean, this one, do I really know that there, it's a flip-flop answer? I mean, like, theoretically, it says I'm going from 2 to negative infinity, but this is meaning it should be going to the right, negative infinity goes to the right. So make sure you have it written correctly. Okay, yeah. So mathematically, you can't make sense. Right, this one would make sense. So on a two-point problem, I would take one of the points off for that, okay. as long as everything's correct. Okay, so watch out on it. So furthest to the left comes first. Okay, don't go and just say, oh, it goes to a negative infinity. No, it's starting from negative infinity and it comes up to a number. And then it gets to some number and it goes to positive infinity. Okay, don't flip flop your numbers. Furthest left should be furthest left on the number line. Got it? Other questions you might have come across? 23. Okay, borrow <laughs> Yeah, we did work that one in class. The error on 23 would have been... Oh, when they divided by the negative, they didn't flip-flop the sign, so it's right there. That sign should have been backwards. Yeah. Choo-choo. One, two. All right, 22 is an or problem. How do we know it? Well, it says or. If it's or, it should be... Should be shaded opposite ways. But what are some things that we know about an or? Could it shade the same way? Yes. And it works? Yeah. On an or, when you start test your, testing your points, if you have a true false or a false true, that's fine. That's part of the answer because one or the other works. Okay, so let's uh, do this. I'll just turn it here. Adding 3, dividing by perfect. Like that. Next one at 17. So that's a 4. X is less than or equal to 2. So let's put it on a number line. What it looks like. So you had 0, 2, 4. Okay. So I have a solid, solid dot or closed dot shading this way. And then I have an open dot shading this way. Well, let's think about it. Okay, it's an or, so it only has to be one part true. Okay, so if I pick over here, if I pick, let's say, 10. If, if we plug 10 in, and we can plug 10 into the original or the answers, is 10 less than 2? No. Is 10 less than 4? No. Okay, so that, I don't shade over there. Um, if I were to pick, say, 3, okay, I know 4 is not going to work because it's an open dot, if I pick 3? Is 3 less than 4? Yes. That's true. Is 3 less than 2? False. False. So this happens to be true. So that means we can indeed have our answer doing this. Okay? If I pick, say, you know, like negative 5, negative 5 is less than 4, it gives me true, true or something. Okay? So my answer is coming from negative infinity and it's going all the way up to 4 rounded bracket. Hey, I what does a rounded bracket mean for four? Oh. 
No, because th this type of or only has one bracket. Because it this goes right over the other one. Oh, okay. If it's a, if your graph lit had looked something like this. This has the two brackets as negative infinity to zero, oh, square bracket, excuse me, or uh, around six to infinity. Okay, that work, this one works like that with two brackets because we're shading the opposite. This one, because we're going the same direction and overlapping, you only have one bracket. So you have to figure out where it works. And that will work to give us at least one true. It could have two trues on our number line. Um, what would happen if what would happen if I had graphed I had something with the graph. I can't remember it on top of my head. About on a number line, what this would look like. So we had zero here, five here, ten here, right? So this, and this would have been, I always had solved the problem, came down to this. So I got an open dot going this way. What does this one do? Open dot. open dot going this way. So if I pick any point, no matter where on here, I get at least uh, one true. And being it's an or, I only need to have at least one true. So what is my answer? Negative infinity to infinity. Yeah. On this particular problem, if you, even if you just put that, I would take that. So it's your choice which way you want to label it. Okay? Is it possible to get a no solution? Yes. So I can't, you have to be able to plug in your test points to make sure they work. Yeah. What kind of? It looks just like that, but when you plug points into your, both your solutions, it's false, false, no matter where you are. Okay? All right, lights please. Clear your desk. Hand forward those uh, practice problems. Please, those of you who aren't here, I will get those for you.